not nearly as dangerous as you might think. For instance, if you spill a little bit on your skin, nothing's going to happen. Unless you were to spill it in your shoe, where it can be uh, uh, constricted, in which case it would come to a boil and quickly uh, give you a, um, a frostbite. As long as it's got room to move around, uh, it's not really going to hurt anything. So uh, where you really have to be cautious with this is the eyes. And I actually know lab people to say the best way to work with liquid uh, nitrogen is naked. Because it's when it gets in your clothes that it, it gets confined and it causes a problem. I'm not advocating it. <laughs> I want to be very clear about the fact that something that uh, basically boils at about 372 degrees below zero Fahrenheit is not something that you should play around with. But um, it's easily obtainable. Uh, in fact, I live near a hospital um, in, in Atlanta, and so there are plenty of like gas places around there that sell it um, because, of course, warp removal and stuff like that. So all you have to do is buy yourself a doer, uh, this uh, kind of dermis thing, which goes for about $300, and I keep this stuff around all summer long. Uh, so that my daughter and I can make uh, instant um, gelato and instant ice cream, uh, which is uh, a lot of fun. And it's also fun because if you soak crackers in this stuff and then feed it to your dogs, <laughs> it's really cool because they'll shoot steam out of their mouth. <laughs> I mean, what a surprise of a trail on their face. <laughs> Now the gas that we see is not the nitrogen, it is actually steam that is formed from the uh, humidity in the air condensing. I'm thinking that's probably good. I think that's probably good. And we wait, and you'll notice the sound starts to change. You start hearing something that sounds like it's a little on the rocky side, that's ice crystals of course. Don't stick your uh, hands down in there if you don't have to. I'm going to turn it off and take a look. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> oh, heck, I can't see anything. I'll just keep going. Yeah. Now, I can't stress oh, enough God. at this point how much uh, you would not want to uh, place your tongue on the side of this bed. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a young boy in the house, this is going to be an especially strong danger because typically they can't resist that kind of behavior. Okay, we need a little more. Yeah, I can finally see it. We've got some ice, but I can use some more. That was only about half a liter anyway. Okay. There we go. Has anybody tried this? No? It's a lot of fun. What you can do with marshmallows? Fantastic. <laughs> That's cold. Oh, wow. That's cold. Spoon? Your spoon? Yes. Your spoon. So here we have, uh, ladies and gentlemen, instant yeah. Bellini yeah. sorbet, yeah. which <laughs> would you like to try? Would we like candy fry? Susie. Susie. Take her spoon. Got our spoon? Let her try it, see what she says. You see? Up the jump. 